Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey W. Jansen. Today is June 7th, 2017, and this is Daily Reflections. Uh, I've been absent for a little while. We've got a lot of other stuff been doing, working on a lot of other videos, a lot of other uh, motivational stuff we've been doing. Anyway, I hope you're all doing good tonight. Um, it's just tonight there's been seemingly a lot of people need a little uplifting. A lot of people need to have a little motivation. So I wanted to get on here tonight and I wanted to make sure we remember why we do daily reflections in the first place. It is to basically keep all those in mind that are depressed, that are suffering from PTSD, the 22 men and women and the military veterans and active duty that kill themselves every day, the men and women just in regular life that are depressed and they're having a hard time. Just to remind everybody what, you know, being kind is all about to basically being able to shake somebody's hand, to be able to uplift somebody when they're feeling low, to basically get rid of all the negative rhetoric that we see on the social media, how people just, they think it's funny to put negative stuff out there, and that's fine, because no one can see them, their physical face, you know, they would never do it to somebody's face, so they go out there and they have to use social media, you know, people are using platforms to destroy people, knock them down, chop out their feet from underneath of them, using different things as an excuse to be negative. We're here to tell everybody otherwise. We're here to basically tell you, look, let's basically build people back up. Let's build a platform of positive. You know, a lot, you know, you can say it in religion, but it, but you can say it anywhere else. You can build your house on the sand or you can build it on rock. You can build somebody up on the sand and be in, every time the tide comes in, you wash them down or you can build them up on the rocks to where they're solid, they're strong, they got a good foundation, they got a good moral compass. And I think that's what we're forgetting. You know, a lot of people, you know, you can think that you're the most giving person in the world, but if you're expecting people to give you praise back, that's wrong. If you're one of these people that you feel entitled because you went to a college or you were in the military, you're wrong. You're not entitled to anything. You have to earn everything you get in life. You have to be there for people. You know, we have to give credit to our school teachers who are out there every day, and they're getting to get a little bit of a break now, but technically they don't because think about it. They're low paid, so now all of a sudden they don't have a source of income coming in in the summer summertime. So, you know, here are great teachers that have to lose about two months of pay, but they have to plan accordingly. And guess what? Most of them do plan accordingly. That's a great. All of those police officers out there that are basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether you like them or not, if you call them, they're going to come. You could be yelling at them one day, calling them every name in the book, but the next day you could need them and they're the first people you call. Why do you do stuff like that? Don't do stuff like that. We need to make sure that we know these police officers are heroes. We need to make sure that we know the men and women of uniform. They are out there every day on the front lines. And I was reading today, I was telling everybody about earlier today about China. Did you know the kids in China take a test? I cannot pronounce the name of it, but they take a test. Now, why is that such a big deal? Because they spend half their life getting ready for this test. They take it as kids, as high schoolers, I'm assuming. And if they pass, they fail for the rest of their lives. It's not a test that, oh, well, I can make it up tomorrow. No, if you pass or fail, whether you're feeling good or not, if you take this test, you fail, you're gone. That's what's going on over in Asia right now. That's what's been going on. In the United States, we have chances and opportunities, yet we want to keep cutting people down and, and you know doing all this negative stuff, yet you look in the other parts of the world. I've been to other parts of the world. I've seen hate. I have seen what dictatorships do. I've seen what socialism does. I've seen what communism does. It takes away your rights. It takes away your freedom. It takes away Mussolini killed millions. Millions. Hitler killed millions. Okay? China and Japan have been fighting forever. And there's been millions dead because of communist, socialist countries. And then we have people here sitting there saying how great these countries are. Look, I'm not left. I'm not right. I'm in the middle. I'm just telling you this. Protect your own. Be vigilant of what your freedoms really are. Be vigilant of people around you. Be positive. Be uplifting. Okay, because the reason why is because these people are going to go negative and they're going to get radical. Why are they radical? Because groups that are basically hate groups, think about, uh, think about the not, you know, like uh, white power, or black power and stuff like that to where they're hate groups. And yes, I'm going to call them exactly what they are. They're hate groups. Why? Because they hate another race of people. And then all of a sudden people get really, really low and these groups will welcome them in with open arms and teach them propaganda that's so negative, so wrong, then they go out there and they do harm to others. Now, whose fault is that? We could have been nice to these people. We could have understood where they're coming from. We didn't have to keep teaching hate and negativity. But that's what, if you notice, the sides are going like this right now. And you know what happens when you don't have in the middle 
you get radicalism. We need to stay away from that. I, I have friends that are left and I've got friends that are white and they're some of the greatest people in the world. I got friends that are Democrat, Republicans, Catholic, Islamic, Jewish, um, you name it, they're my friends. And I've got their backs and I will protect what they believe in. But you know, I know something, they're not going around trying to kill anybody. They're not going around trying to preach propaganda. All they want to do is live their life great. I know several people on here who come from different backgrounds, different faiths, different religions, different cultures. And you want to know something? All they're trying to do is raise their family. All they're trying to do is provide for each other, have a little fun, go fishing. That's what they're trying to do. Isn't that right, Tony? I know Tony just came on. He loves to fish. And so do a lot of my other friends. I served with a lot of great men when I was in the Marine Corps. And there's a lot of army men out there and women out there who are great people. They come from every faith and background. The police officers out there, they come from every faith and background. The teachers out there, every faith and background. So let's give them a little bit of credit. Let's give heroes the proper welcome they deserve. We have not been teaching our kids who heroes are. Anymore. We've been basically destroying Superman, is the way I like to call it. We have been using kryptonite on those that have actually been trying to do good. And because for some reason we get offended when people do good things for us. We think we're too good to have a little bit of help or to ask for help. Well, guess what? We all can use a little help now and then. We can all use a hand up. We can all use a pat on the back. And I'm not going to wait for the next tornado to happen before I accept somebody into my life. I'm not going to wait for an earthquake to happen before I take relief from somebody because now all of a sudden I need somebody's help. I'm going to start today because these people are great. And guess what? When I say people, I mean everybody. I'm talking about man, women, you know, it doesn't matter. We're so negative on people. We look and we are sitting there destroying baby daddies and baby mommies because we don't agree with our better half's judgments. So we destroy each other in the hopes that people will come listen to us and come hold our hand, give us sympathy, yet we don't need that sympathy. Okay? I hate to say it, my mom's great, my dad's great, I'm just me, you know? My sister's great, and I love my family. We don't always get along. We don't always see eye to eye, but I love them. Do you think every Marine I ever served with liked me? Heck no. But do I always have every single one of their backs that they have mine? Yes. You know why? Because we are a brotherhood. We are actually brother and sisters. I didn't serve with any women, So, but that's not because of me. That's just how the, it was when I was in. But I tell you what, I will welcome them with open arms. They want to serve in the infantry? Go right ahead. As long as they maintain the same standards as everybody else does, I don't care who they are. Because guess what? When you're in the crap, the person next to you is the one that's going to help get you out of life. And plus, I've got a daughter. i got a beautiful daughter, and she can do whatever she wants when she gets older. i got a beautiful sister who has overcome all odds and is a very successful person. I got three nephews who I hope and pray they basically grow up big and strong and take the world by the horns and just basically go with it because they are awesome. I've got friends that have daughters that are just so paranoid right now. But you want to know something? They want the society to be open for their daughters to be able. They don't want some guy or somebody to tell them that because they're women or because of the color of their skin that they can't do something. We've come a long way in society. Now let's start lifting each other up. Let's start by pulling people up. I told everybody, I put a thing on I got a lot of comments on it to me personally. I said, I don't pray to religion. I pray to a God. I pray to the God that I believe in. Yes, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. My friends believe in God. And they believe in different things. I don't pray to a religion because religion, to me, organized religion can corrupt a person. I see people go to church all the time and they don't mean it. They go into church and they think they're saved and they're not. They go to church and think, oh, because I went to church, I'm holier than thou. No, you're not. You're nobody important. If you're sitting there still cheating on your husband and wife or doing things or going around, you know, sitting there purposely hurting people, then going to church every day, thinking that nobody knows you're doing it, but ha, because I went to church, you're okay. You're not. And I don't want everybody to think that they're safe because church is a safe place. And I'm not talking about just any religion. I'm talking about all religions. All right? I mean, look what's going on with society. I go to church on Sunday. I sin on Monday. Let's not do that anymore. Look, I argue with God all the time. Now, whatever, whoever you pray to, you may be agnostic, you may be atheist, and that's good. I respect that, and guess what? I got a lot of friends that are. And I just ask them to wish helpful thoughts on people. You know, you know, sometimes they are better people than the ones I know that have a religion. Why? Because they're just trying to get by every day, and they know the only way to get by is being kind to each other. 
You can do more with kindness than you can do with hate. You can do with more with kindness than you can. If you're getting ready to yell at your baby's mama or your baby's daddy or you're getting ready to yell at your neighbor or something, why don't you stop? And instead of yelling and saying, you know what? I just want you to know you're awesome. Thanks for cutting your grass. Hey, you know what? You're awesome. You're putting food on the table. Just understand I'm just trying to communicate. And turn around and walk away. Bite your tongue. Sometimes that's the hardest thing for people to do is bite their tongue and do what is right. Sometimes it is hard for us to look hate in the eye because we get all that energy like we are when we're going through puberty or something. We get all this energy and we get all this mad and we just... And then what you got to do is you got to think. Put your hands down and say, I understand, but I need a moment. I don't want to be mad at you. I'm having a dime. And you turn around and you walk away. Because the next words out of your mouth can mean those words that you're going to regret the rest of your life for saying. You can say what you don't mean. Instead of trying to communicate and trying to understand where people are coming from, you need to stop. Think. If you're joining groups because, oh, they agree with you. No, look at the group you're in. If they're preaching any type of hate then you need to get away from them. If you're around friends that keep really bashing you and cutting you down over and over and over again, you're like, well, they're my friends. No, they're not your friends. Or at least, you know what? If they're your friend and you walk away from them, if they follow you saying, hey, what's going on? And just say, oh, nothing. And you, they notice that you're starting to pull away from them. They'll either follow you or they're going to find somebody else to treat as their beat on person. But the whole fact is, look, you deserve greatness. You deserve to know that you're special. You deserve all the kindness in the world. And if you're not getting that, and if you're not showing that, then start showing it and then you'll get it. Look, we've all made mistakes in the past. We've all messed up and I guarantee you nobody knows the real story. So if you're too busy worried about what such and such says here and there, or you see somebody in the news or you see somebody in trouble, remember this. We live in a nation of laws. Innocent until proven guilty. A majority of people are innocent. And if they're in jail and they're innocent, you know, fate will get them out somehow. Because they're in their study and trying to get out. Or if you, they are accused of wrongdoing and they just ran out of money, remember this. Know them for who they are. Not for what they're being accused of. And if there are people out there doing wrong stuff, you need to get away from them as fast as possible. Eventually they'll find and they'll write what their wrongs are. But if they can never see it because they're too busy, they got too many people like clapping them on saying, good job, good job then that's exactly what's going to happen. They're never going to change. You can sit there and do something the exact same way time and time again and expect a different outcome. That's stupidity. If you do something the exact same way over and over again expecting a different solution, you'll never get it. There is an actual saying to it. I just forgot what it is. <laughs> okay, everybody. My point is this. Love your kids. Give them hugs and kisses. Tell them you're proud of them. Tell them. Tell your kids. Lead by example. Show them that you care about them. Show them that you love them. Don't make life about business all the time. Don't make life about how much hate you can spew. Make life about, you know, reading to your kids, fun books, you know, dancing with your children, sitting there, calling up loved ones you haven't talked to in a long time, calling up Marines you haven't heard from in a long time, brothers or sisters you haven't talked to, moms and dads. Don't just assume everybody's calling them. They could be the loneliest person in the world and waiting around for months, days, years just for that one call from you. And if you call them, they weren't expecting it. It is the greatest relief in the world from there. Like, hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And don't want anything in the world other than to say, oh, I was just thinking about you. I just thought I'd let you know you matter. I do that on Facebook a lot. I see people that I know. I even pick up the phone and call my friends just because when I think about them. I found out the other day a good friend of mine, Marilyn, who I used to work with as a Blessing Youth Corps volunteer at Blessing Hospital years ago. I was uh, 14 years old. And I worked with her in the tea room. And I found out she died last year. I haven't heard or talked to her in years, but she's the reason why I eat ranch on my potato chips. <laughs> I know, stupidest thing in the world. But I never heard from her, and I didn't know she died. And you know... A, piece, a little piece of me, you know, is now going to be missed because I'm going to miss her because she was a great lady that I talked to every day for years. And whenever I came home from the Marine Corps and everything else, she was one of the first people I saw because I actually went in there to get an orange frost. It's like orange, 
um, sherbet with orange juice and a little bit of milk and it's like a big smoothie. It's really good. But I remember that stuff because of different people that have been in our lives. People come and go all the time. And sometimes we just need to call up those people that left a long time and go, hey, thanks for the good times. Thanks for the memories. I can tell you all the crazy stuff I did with every crazy Marine that I've ever known. I can tell you some of the greatest things I've done with my high school friends. I can tell you things I did when I was a lifeguard or, you know, different events I've always taken part in. But I can tell you this. The greatest days are ahead of you. Your best days are ahead of you. You matter. You're important. Now, whether you're religious or not, I'm going to say a quick prayer. I'll say, Our Father, our Hail Mary. I'll lead it off with making sure that all the truckers and the blitz and everything else done. I'll end everything, and if anybody wants me to say a quick prayer, if you're not religious, just bow your head and give a couple good thoughts. But for all the people that are traveling and all the people and everything else, you know, we got to basically make sure that they know that they matter. So if you guys want to pray with me, that's fine. I'm going to say an Our Father, Hail Mary, and I'm going to end it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say a quick talk to God. So if you want to join me, go ahead. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God, please don't let my phone ring when I'm praying. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. That's my fault. Uh, dear God, um, thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for the food that you put on our tables. Thank you for my daughter. Thank you for my friends and thank you for all the Marines. Thank you for the police that guard us. Thank you for the teachers that teach us. Thank you for our friends and family. Thank you for my friends and family. Thank you for my loved ones that died. God, please be with those that have loved ones that are sick tonight, that are dying, that have died. Please be with Gary Myers. Please be with Dr. Patrick McGinley. Please be with Marilyn. Please be with all those that we've lost. Uh, yesterday was D-Day. The Please be with all those during D-Day. Please be with all those that were fighting during Tiananmen Square to help get a little bit of freedom back in China. Please be with our children that they know that they can see the beauty of the world and they can see good in everybody. Please keep them strong so they know when to protect, but keep them vigilant so they're always aware. Please keep love in their heart and please let our children learn what kindness really is. God, please be with those that need you tonight. Please be with those sinners that have sinned. But please be with those that think they've never sinned. Please let them come to realization that not everything's that simple. God, please be with all my Marine Corps brothers. Please be with all the truckers out there tonight. The blitz is going on right now. It's halfway over. Please do not let them get tickets. Please be with them so that they can pass these stops without having to face fines, fees, and courts. Please be with all the single moms and dads out there that they have patience and understanding that they know that their kids love them and their kids look up for them and they are true heroes. Please be with all the firefighters out there and the, and the nurse practitioners. Please be with all the nurses and the doctors and those that watch us and our medical needs. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, yours now and forever. Amen. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. All right, everybody. I thank the world of each and every one of you. Each and every one of you matter. Go out and just have a great day. Just be awesome. Because each and every one of you is spectacular. Each and every one of you is a gift from heaven. And each and every one of you is shining. And I believe in you. See you later, everybody.